Shandy was walking down this path here. This is the last 40 metres she walked on this path. Um, as she was coming down there, a car had parked up there and the figure that you, we now know as the running man was hiding in the bushes there. Um, he started to run as she's gone past and walked down here. And we think the point of impact is around here. And they've, he's ended up towards the middle of the street here. They found um, drops of blood and I think Shandy's fingernail. Um, on the road here. On the road here. She's bent over and stumbling towards that light there and she's collapsed with her head on the gutter. If I concentrate on my anger for him and what he did, it will, I, I don't think I would be able to keep on going. I have to put that at the back and not focus on him. Um, he very rarely passes through my mind. I, I can't, I just can't think of him. I, I will get dragged down into hatred and it's, you know, when you think of the amount of hatred you would have for someone who actually did what he did to my daughter, um, it's not a hatred that you can cope with very well. So you just push it to the background. I have to, I can't. I'm not going to allow him to take over the rest of my life with hatred. We're literally standing now where Shandy was attacked. Yeah. Um, eight years yeah. ago. What goes through your mind when, when you come back to this place? Um, I can't ever think of, I can't think of what she went through that night on her own here. I, um, I try to think, concentrate on that 40 metres where she was happy and she was at peace and we had her home. That's what I have to think of. I can't, I can't think of this. Her being alone and me just up there and not able to protect her. That's just too hard. <laughs>